Good morning, and thank you very much for coming to this lecture today. The complete lecture series is about computerized control systems, which, you may recall, are also called by wire systems. That's because they use a wire or cable to carry electronic signals to and from a central computer. And I'm sure you'll remember that in this series of lectures, we're also looking at how these computerised systems are used on both aircraft and land vehicles. So, let's begin today's lecture. And in this first part, section one, I want to look at the similarities and differences between the computerised systems used in aircraft and those used in cars and other land vehicles. In other words, I want to compare fly-by-wire systems with drive-by-wire ones. Of course, aircraft and cars use different input and output mechanisms. For example, to change direction, a car uses wheels as the main output mechanism, whereas an aircraft uses wing surfaces. A car uses a steering wheel as an input mechanism to control direction, while an aircraft uses a joystick. Nevertheless, there is an important similarity between fly-by-wire systems in aircraft and drive-by-wire systems in cars. And that is that both systems use sensors to detect the operator's intentions. And what's more, both systems use computers to tell the actuators or tiny motors what to do. So, to repeat the last point slightly differently, we could put it like this. Although computerised cars and aircraft use different input mechanisms, both systems use sensors to detect them. And though they both use different output mechanisms, both systems use computers and actuators to control them. OK, so now let's move on to the second section. Here I would like to focus on aircraft systems alone and I'm going to compare computerised or fly-by-wire controls with the autopilot or automatic pilot system. Although both systems use sensors, computers and actuators, they differ in one important way and that is pilot control. In the fly-by-wire system, the pilot retains control, that is, keeps control of all the movements of the aircraft. The pilot continues to move the input controls and keeps on making all the decisions. In autopilot mode, however, the pilot establishes the correct course or direction of travel and then hands over control to the aircraft's computer system. The computer then makes all the decisions to maintain the course which the pilot has already set. So, to recap quickly, we can say that although both fly-by-wire and autopilot systems use sensors, computers and actuators to control the aircraft, they differ in one important feature. In fly-by-wire, the pilot retains full control, whereas in autopilot, the pilot relinquishes control to the computer. Now, finally, I'd like to move on to the third and final section in which I will very briefly compare the autopilot system of an aircraft with the cruise control system of a car or other land vehicle. Essentially, the two systems operate in a similar way, although the specific sensors and mechanisms will differ in detail, of course. In an aircraft, if the pilot switches on autopilot, he can override the system. That is, he can counteract it at any time and regain control. Similarly, in a car, when the driver activates cruise control, although the computer controls the speed, the driver can override the system at any time. One important difference between the two systems is that in autopilot mode, the pilot sets the direction of the aircraft and then relinquishes control of direction to the computer. Whereas in cruise control, of course, 
the driver retains control over the actual direction in which the car is travelling at all times. And that concludes my lecture. Now, does anyone have any questions? <laughs>